cool 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 what's going on everybody listen day two of the five day challenge we are here yesterday we went into the group right we went into the facebook group the private facebook group but we had a couple individuals that said that they've been trying to share the broadcast from yesterday and so i said why don't we do this why don't we just go ahead and make sure that everybody get a chance to hear this information because the individual that i have for you tonight listen i'm gonna just sit back and i'm gonna soak it up myself but i want to make sure that everybody had access to this content because i know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is going to change your life so yesterday though before i bring my special guest on yesterday we talked about reintroducing or rediscovering yourself okay so what i'll do for the sake of time i'm not going to go into that but what i am going to do is talk to you tonight about what uh this individual is here to share with you and that is how to overcome the haters how to rise above the criticism because one of the things that i gave you um a prelude to yesterday is i said that when you start to understand who you really are you need to also understand that haters are going to come it's a byproduct so tonight i couldn't think of anyone any better to to jump on here tonight and and really just share from his personal experience and of course just give you some tools some skills and some techniques that's going to allow you to rise above the criticism and the hate and so without further ado listen man i i gotta i'm gonna just go ahead and bring him on Sean, can you hear me man yes i can my brother what's Sean good man? is in the building man what's what is cracking? going on what's cracking with you man man listen, listen man, man I'm, I'm i'm trying to get on your level man whatever man yo just out here pounding the pavement bro just man the how, pavement. How, how you say it dominate your lane hey that's that's the only way to do it man that's it, the only man. way to do it bro is just pound the pavement dominate your lane man for real for I real i love it man so look so this is this is technically day three but uh -huh. this is this is gonna be day three or day two for the day right yeah and we were talking a couple of days and we talk all the time, but we were talking the other day and I said, man, I want you to come on and just share from your heart, share from your experience, share with the people on how to rise above uh, haters, man. Because one thing that we know is that haters, that that's that's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> you gonna you gonna have haters yep. regardless. Right. And so whether you're doing something right, whether you're doing something wrong, we know that the haters going to come. So. Yep. My thing is this, man, before we go into that, though, just I would be remiss to, to, you know, say like for real, everybody knows my guy. Everybody knows my guy. But what I want you to do is just kind of tell the people um, what you all about. You know, I mean, you have a million and one things going on, man. But tell the people what you are I, all about. I, I, don't, really I don't know. I don't know how 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 that is. If like if I'm telling people how to dominate their lane and you telling them that I got a million things, that doesn't sound nah. like I'm dominating my lane, nah, right? That nah. means like you, I'm in a whole bunch of lanes <laughs> and in everybody's lane instead of my own lane, right? Now nah, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm I'm just all about impact, man. That's my assignment to the earth is just to make impact, right? However that is, I'm called to impact my family i'm called to impact those that's in my uh i'm just called to impact man that's my assignment and, and right now my focus of impact uh after my family man is my assignment to men to fathers right so that's what i'm that's what i'm doing man just trying to uh make an impact in the earth man helping people fulfill their assignments bro you know I mean helping them dominate their lane i love it man i love it so so let's get into this then because one thing that Again, I know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure this that we that we broadcast in this even more. But one thing one thing that I know and you know as well is that when you get into that space where you are dominating your lane, man, uh, uh, haters are are it's it's a byproduct, right? So, I mean, talk about it, man. I mean, you've been doing this for a while now, yeah. And yeah, like, how do you how do you deal with that? Yo, right? I'm, I don't. Or, or, I, or do like, you have haters? Like for real, I'm, I'm quite sure I do, but I don't, Mike. Like because this is the thing, bro. When you dominate your lane, man, you don't even you're not even focused on the haters, right? Because the haters are gonna hate. Like even like the song, like haters gonna hate. Like like haters are part of the process. It just depends on where you are in the process. Like where, like when are they gonna show their head to help you propel you to your next level? 
Right. So they're part of the process. It's just like, you know, taking a shower. It's just like, take you know, brushing your teeth. Haters are part of the process. But I don't focus on them. Right. Because that that I mean, they they are there. They're self check. They're isolated, bro. So if I'm so focused on my assignment, like I, that, that bothers me, man. A lot of times, man, when people talking about you know, haters and people not supporting me. I'm like, yo, that's whack, bro. Like, even when people are not supporting me who I think they should, like, yo, I'm not going to social media. Like, yo, these people not supporting. Yo, they not getting down. Yo, they not rocking. Like, yo, I can care less, bro. I'm focusing on my assignment. So that's my thing. Like, how do you, you know, how do you uh, overcome the haters? Is 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 you kill them with with uh, fulfilling your assignment? them with excelling and and living a life of success you kill them by being the best husband that you can be you kill them by being the best son you can be like living authentically you and when you live authentically you bro like your haters are self check bro they eventually they'll leave man like for real eventually they'll leave but I, I don't mike i'm quite sure i promise you bro i know i have haters but I don't know who they are because I don't pay attention to them, bro. Like for real, real talk. I don't pay attention to them. I love it. I love it. So, okay. So now, but that's, but that's the Sean that we know now, right? Yeah. Have, have you always been that way? And if not, no. how did you get there? No, no, I, I wasn't always there, you know, because honestly I was the hater. Mm. Oh man. Come so on. the only you gotta, why, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta so dig with that. the only reason why. See, the only reason why I know how to overcome and destroy haters is because I knew one firsthand and I was he. Ooh. Right. So so I wasn't that hater that everybody knew. Right. Because I was thriving, at least on the outside. But internally, yo, I was destroyed. Right. So I was putting off negative. Listen, yo, I was so whack. Like, for real, I was so whack that I wa I was wishing ill will unconsciously on my own wife. Yep. You heard me say that. I was unconsciously, bro. I was on this. I need to make more money than her because if I made more money than her, then she has to listen to me. Then I can be the real man. Bro, just because you make bread don't make you the man of the house, bro. Mm. And because I was so whack in that area, I got the very thing that I wished for. When I was like, yeah, I want to make more money than her. It wasn't like my pay increase, like my pay increase. You no, know, what happened? Her pay decrease. So it's like, oh, okay, you want to make more money? Bro, here you go. Now you're the breadwinner. So I'm like, no, no, don't decrease her wages. Give me, but I had to start working on me. So you talk about have I always been here? Absolutely not. I just start working on me, bro. That was, that was what I had to focus on. So many people, they front, bro. They're not authentic. That's why it's so hard for them to excel. That's what's so hard for them to prosper. That's why it's so hard for, the in for them to increase because they're trying to build something on a faulty foundation. They're not, be they not being authentic to who they are, bro. Mm. Like, I had to come face to face with me to say, yo, Sean, you whack, man. You need to deal with this, bro. You, you've been living with jealousy for a long time. Wow. Like, yo, you're you, you, you not sweet like that. Like, yo, how can you really on the outside trying to wish good for people but you have that underlying like yo i hope like you're not like i hope they fail but you like yo don't let them f excel more than me to make me feel uncomfortable crab crab I, crabs in the bucket yeah 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 bro so how so 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 let's talk talk us through that process though you know what i mean because that that's not easy man especially once once you've identified yourself as the hater like that's not something that a lot of people want to look in the mirror and admit you know what i mean yep. even i mean even today so many people that's hearing this right now they'll probably be like yeah no nah, that ain't me he ain't talking yeah. about me but i think i think until we get to that point like what you're talking about and what we were talking about yesterday and once we learn how to discover who we really are all of us are at some point the hater <laughs> right because yep. we're looking at other people that's like killing it and we like yep. man ain't no way in the world they need to be killing it better or more than i am so we turn into that hater so what does that process look like and how do we rise above that yo listen man again bro it, it starts with you like you gotta really want to do the work you you gotta want to do the work man like th there's no way there's no shortcuts to it 
For real, there's no shortcuts to success. There's no shortcuts to becoming free. You have to go to the pro- go through the process. You have to be willing to to lose it all, bro. And 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 the most important thing that you have to be willing to lose is yourself. Wow. That, that's what you have to be willing to lose is yourself because you're holding on to an idol that is whack. You're holding on to an idol that that is not doing anything good for you. Right, like that old man that I had, bro. I can't bring that old man into where I am today, bro. His mindset, his mindset was totally different. His mindset, he was selfish, bro. Mm. Like his, he, he was insecure. So I had to divorce him. I, I had to, I, I had to annihilate him. Now listen, I appreciate who he was, but I had to destroy the boy that was in him. I couldn't bring that boy into this man life. Oh wait. So, so I had to have a conversation with him like, yo, like, yo, you got me to this point, but I need to deal with you. I have to divorce. I have to heal you and I have to free you and let you go. I had to get to a place where I'm like, yo, it's all right for me to heal. It's all right for me to go through the process and the fire. A lot of us, we don't want to go through the fire. Why? Because it's the fire. Mm. We don't want to pay the price for it. We want, man, this guy Kendall always says, he said, people want what it, what it look like. They don't want what it feel like. And, and, I, and I agree with that, that people want what it look like. They don't want what it feel like. They don't want to go through the process. They don't want to look at them. So I don't spend time trying to fix other people. I focus on fixing me. And that's mm. where they need to start, fixing them. Wow. Wow. So, so fixing them, right? So now how, how important was it for you to get around people that were already where you were looking to be? You know what I'm saying? Because part of part of fixing that, uh, I mean, because here here's the thing, man. I think a lot of us are conditioned. A lot of us are conditioned to to be haters because we're surrounded by haters themselves, right? So how do you identify those people, though? You know yeah, what I mean? I'm, yeah, yeah, I, I get you. Like the thing, I I wasn't more so trying to get people. You got what I said, man. I had to deal with me, right? So yeah. I wasn't around people that was gonna help me get to this next level, so I could suck from them, mm, because good. that would have been part of the same problem. That's because good. now I'm a leech. Now I'm taking advantage. No, I needed to get around other people that was gonna hold me accountable. Ooh. Ooh. They didn't have to have more than me. I just needed to have somebody in my circle that was gonna tell me that my boo boo stink. So I didn't need somebody. So eventually when I was ready, but listen, they said when the student is ready, the teacher come. So this student, I had to work on me. Then the teacher came. Then I was at a place and responsible enough to start running with the big dogs or flying with the eagles. But until then, bro, I had to deal with me. I wasn't ready for that next level. And so many people, they excel prematurely because they didn't do the necessary work, right? And success comes from the inside out, bro, not the outside in. I tell people all the time, man, don't chase the bag, chase the assignment. Mm. Mm. Don't chase don't the cha- bag. Don't, don't chase, chase the, bag. the bag. Because the bag is wrapped in the assignment, Mike. And I'll say it again. The bag is wrapped in the assignment. When I get in the assignment, I'll find the bag. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> when I, uh, uh, Say that again. When when I get in my assignment, I will find my bag because the bag is wrapped in the assignment, bro. It is. My it goodness. is. When, when I find my assignment, bro, mon- money. L- listen, you a money magnet, bro. Like, listen, you, you were born to create. You was born to subdue and to dominate. Like that, that's your role in the earth. You're supposed to dominate everything you do. You're supposed to excel. You're supposed to exceed. You are supposed to dominate. You are supposed to create. You are the head and not the tail. You're above only and not beneath. There's nothing missing in you. And until you are, until you embrace that, bro, until you embody that, you will always be at the tail. So you have to know who you are. Like you trying to lead people, bro. You don't even know who you are. You want to be a husband? You don't even know who you are. Why should she follow you, bro? You don't even know who you are. Oh we. Oh my goodness, man. So so, once you get to that point, once you get to that place, though, right? I think one of the misunderstandings, man, is that we think that once we get to that point, that all of that sort of succumbs and you don't have to deal with that anymore. Right. And so as you as you become who you're called to be and as you said, as you as you are chasing the assignment, 
there's there's some other levels of 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 hate that comes though <laughs> right there's some other levels of hate that comes it is it is like I, I appreciate the question i do but I, but i'm telling you i don't care like you asking me but i'm telling you i don't care about the haters mike they non-existent like why am i gonna spend my time working on all they do is bring all they do is bring like heaviness and and worry concern like divorce that bro Life is gonna happen regardless. So why? But why am I going to focus on the haters? So my thing is like, how you get rid of haters? How, like, dude, don't focus on them. Focus on the assignment, Mike. I can't preach it enough, bro. If I focus on the assignment, I don't know they're talking about me. Mm. And those people, oh. they're not gonna come and tell me why, because I'm not with them. I'm in the assignment. If I'm I in a whole nother circle. Assignment. If I focus on the assignment, I'm not going to know they talking about me. No, I got to go back over there. So I, listen, because they at the shores, bro. If you in the ocean, you wouldn't you wouldn't know what they're doing at the shore. Oh, my God. The haters are talking about it like, oh, look at them. Like, yo, I can care less. You talking on the sideline. Ooh. Ooh. If that Somebody. was me, well, you're not me. Mm. You don't want this work, and I don't want your work. I wasn't created and born to walk your assignment. I don't want what you paid. I don't want what you paid. I just want what's for me. I know what I paid for. Yo, give me what I paid for, bro. Wow. Wow. My goodness, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I listen. Listen, everybody. I told y'all you didn't want to miss tonight. I told you you didn't want to miss it. Listen, man. So, So here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> you have a powerful, powerful story. And it's the truth behind, you know, because, of course, man, I've seen you. I've seen you kill the stage. And but you I use this that, story bro. about uh, the reset button. Yeah. Oh, right? that's part of the process, man. I, like, like walk us through that. Walk like, us through that, because because there's people that's watching this right now. That's like, OK. It's one thing for us to say that we're we're not paying attention to the haters, right? We're we're yep. focusing on the assignment, but once this broadcast ends, they're going, to be, man. But but they still talking about me. Like, how do they get to that point where they become so resilient? And they and, don't and want think, it, man. Mm. They they don't they don't want it, bro. If they still, like they they don't want it enough. Mike, you don't want healing enough. Like, if you really want success, you will work on you. Like, if you're still worried about haters, you're not working on you. Like, if you still be like, yo, they said Jesus was a man of no reputation, bro. Like, he didn't care about his reputation. He didn't care what people said. He was focused on the assignment. We got to come to a place where we people are no reputation. Like, I don't care what they saying. Listen, now, now, if I hear something, will it bother me for a second? Why? Because I want to be loved by the people. You but the thing about it, but the thing about it, I'm not going to focus on it. I will refocus on the assignment, my accountability, my circle. They're going to have me. Listen, I had an incident not too long ago where I made I, I, I made a transaction and I thought my transaction was fire. And somebody came through and they was like, uh, that wasn't as dope as I thought, whatever the case of me and such and such. And for a second, I'm like, yo. And that bothered me. Why? Because that person I thought was in my circle. Wow. So those are the ones that can affect me if you're in my circle. Mm. But if you're out of my circle, I can care less. But now, now I see that you close. I'm like, oh, now I have to put you on the boat. Now I have to put you in another place and sail you away. Ooh, because weird. I know you toxic. I know you Judas, homeboy. Ooh. So, okay. Oh, wait, wait. So let's, let's, uh, let's stay there. Let's stay there because when you said that, now you got to put them on the boat, right? Immediately, I thought about again another another powerful story that you that you use, and that is burn the ships. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, burn the ships. Is that is that something that we can relate to this process of overcoming? the haters and the criticism when we when we burn the bolts burn the ships yeah yeah, yeah. like with 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 Herman 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 Cortez Cortez what he did is when he got to the place of promise he made them burn excuses he made them burn the gold 
He made them burn comfort. He made them burn where they came from. He said, there's no going back. We are all in. So when you make a decision to be all in, Mike, then yes, absolutely. I'm all in. I'm all in this process. All in. Listen, the process begins with me. Do you hear what I'm saying, bro? We focus so much on the people, bro. Like when you build you up, like, yo, you become an animal. We focus so much on what they and what them. Wow. Instead of focusing on me and we. That's, that's where the focus ought to be. And that's what I had to do when you brought up, you know, the reset button, bro. The reset button is, is what made me learn how to focus on me because I had a habit of when things got difficult and tough, I would hit the reset button like I did when I was seven through 10 through 12 years of age when I kept hitting the reset button on a Nintendo game. Like when I was about to lose, I didn't want to I didn't want to lose. So instead of me losing, I hit reset. Let's do it again. And I took that into life and started hitting the reset button on difficult moments. And I'm like, yo, I, I'm tired of losing, bro. I'm so that, tired so of that, losing. So that was that little boy that you were saying. Could, Absolutely. You I had to divorce back. him, bro. And somebody uh -huh. on this call, they need to divorce him, bro. They need to get rid of him. They need, wow. they need to have a conversation with. See, there's a little boy in, in mostly all of us and a little girl. We need to deal with him. Mm. We, 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 we need we, we need to deal with them. not not just neglect them. Right. They was mm. already neglected, but we need to have a conversation with them, build them up, send them on their way, slap them on their hiney and let's go. Mm. Right. But don't act like they don't exist. Don't act like they don't exist. Address it. We, we have the adage, you know, you, you are to be seen and not heard. Nah, we need to hear. We need to hear what that little boy or that little girl is saying on the inside so we can address it and deal with it and keep going. Wow. Reset. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. My goodness. I love it, man. I love it. All right, we it. have 30 minutes, man. We have 30 minutes. Listen, man. We have man, 30 minutes. I want, first and foremost, man, you, you already know we can be on here all night long, man, but... I know you had a, a, a phenomenal day today. Yeah, um, man. Yo, as always, fire, man. I, 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 kudos, man, kudos cool. to you on there. I want to. You know what, man? I'm gonna tell it. I'm a, no. You tell it. <laughs> no, you can tell it. I mean, it's all good, bro. So, so you were um, a part of of a of a panel of tremendous tremendous speakers. Um, that the number one motivational speaker in the world, Mr. E.T. Hip Hop Preacher himself, um, uh, invited you in on, man. So, so, so like, give a, give us a snippet, man. Like, how, how, how was that? Because now here's the one thing that I know: if you were not the person that live what you're teaching right now, then that opportunity would never have presented itself. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm not perfect. That's the thing about it, man. Opportunities when you surrender yourself to the process. Opportunities come when you surrender yourself to to making um making a new man. Right? When you surrender to it all, bro. I mean, that's where opportunities come. I stopped chasing. Listen, man, I stopped chasing the bag and I started chasing the assignment. And in the assignment, man, it's freedom for people. And so when, when I'm chasing the assignment, the creator, man, you know, my savior, bro, he opens up doors for me, bro. Like for real. My savior, he opens up doors for me, like doors that was prophesied over me for years, bro. And I didn't know how it was going to happen, but it, it didn't begin to happen once I died to myself, bro. And when I died to myself, I found myself. I was like, yo, you was in there this whole time? You was living in there? But that little boy kept him captive. Wow. That little boy kept him captive, man. So I, I had to get around people who was going to speak into my life man that was gonna speak to the king in me right because the bible talks about he said there's nothing worse than a king that was a slave mm. yeah yeah right just think about that a slave that becomes a king bro he reckless yeah because he wasn't trained to become a king he reckless he 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 is going to be reckless in his power so here you give somebody all of these opportunities and you give him you know access and he's a slave in his mentality bro he gonna destroy lives wow 
So I had to learn how to become a king. So when I get to this place, now I will know how to steward it. So my position of stewardship is submission, bro. It's surrender to the process. It's surrender to, to, to making sure that my marriage is healthy. It's surrendering to making sure my kids need what they have. And then the world could get what the world needs. But first, my ministry, it starts at the crib, bro. So, yeah, so that's how, you know, I got an opportunity to speak tonight, you know, at E.T.'s conference. Man, it was amazing, bro. Like, I'm, it was cool for him to invite me. But what was more powerful, I was speaking to a people that got assigned to me for this night. It's just like the people who's listening right now. Bro, some of these people I don't know. But the creator said, you know, I'm assigned to them tonight to yeah. speak into their life. I don't take this lightly, bro. I love it. I don't take this lightly. Like these are these are humans. These are people who are going through difficult moments and they just need a way out. And I'm like, yo, you call me, bro? You call me to speak into their life tonight? Love like, it. let's get this work. Love it. Love it. Oh my goodness, man. Just be a Listen. steward, man. Just be a steward, <laughs> bro. I love it, man. I love Rob Youngblood said, man, Sean dropped some diamonds. That's <laughs> my dude, man. That's my dude. That's my bro. I love it, man. I love it. Listen, man, again, me and you, man, we can be on here forever. Yes, sir. We can be on here forever, man. And I am tremendously humbled that you uh, took this time, man, and really, as you as you keep saying, man, you, you dominate your lane, but you pouring out because, uh, man, there's a there's a there's a plethora. There's a generation of people that need to hear this message, man. And, man, I am extremely humbled. That you have invested some time tonight, uh, because I know again, that yeah, family yeah, is everything I'm about to get in trouble, so I need to go upstairs. Yeah. So tell, so tell, sus, I'm I'm getting ready to go ahead and release you, yeah, guys, but... <laughs> yeah, I need to go upstairs. All right, man, I love, love you, it. man. So, so, so love do you, this for me, man. How can how can they find you? How can anybody that want to reach out to you? Uh, get in contact with you. Yo, this thing, man, is on my my uh, website, right? SeanHart.com, which is my name, or my nonprofit, man, which, you know, I work with fathers, man. Uh, you can go there, see how you can connect, how you can support. And if you're a dad that needs some help and some support, um, you know, just go on there. So it's InvolvedDad.org. Um, all one word, no S, InvolvedDad.org. And, um, you know, Sean, that's where they can go and find me, bro. I love it, man. I love it. Sean. Yeah. Let's get this work. I appreciate work. you, man. I appreciate you. Listen, everybody, give it up. Give it up. Give them, give them all the hearts that, that, that Facebook would allow, man. Cause I know that once <laughs> you sit down, watch this replay, watch it over and over and over and over again, because what he shared tonight was a game changer. I need it you to save this. Changer. I need the content from this. I love it, man. You know you got it. I <laughs> you know you got it. Man, I appreciate you. Um right. man, with that, tell tell the tell the queen I said hello and tell her I said thank you. And man, you get to your family, brother. I right. appreciate you. Already, you man. know the drill, man. Average. We well, well. Be elite. Be elite. Let's get it. My man. <laughs> y'all listen. I told y'all you did not want to miss tonight. I told you, I told you, I told you is undoubtedly um this is just the beginning right this is this is day two this is day two but um if if you, <laughs> we just getting started so tomorrow tomorrow i have an individual that's coming on tomorrow that again i told y'all you didn't want to miss tonight and i'm gonna tell you again you don't want to miss tomorrow because this individual that's going to be on tomorrow he is going to change your life of course he's going to change your life but i'm gonna warn you i'm gonna warn you make sure you got your tissues ready because his story is definitely a tearjerker and i'm telling you it's gonna it's gonna definitely do something for you but it's gonna make an impact in your life so be ready to take some notes tomorrow be ready to share the broadcast we'll come back on here again because i don't want you guys to miss this instead of going into the private group i'm going to bring it back to the uh the public page again so I appreciate you guys hanging on with us tonight. And as always, you already know what it is. If and when you are committed to your purpose, 
when you're living in your purpose, there's no such thing as competition. I see y'all tomorrow, eight o'clock.